troponin T. Troponins are specific proteins found in heart muscle. Troponin testing is done to diagnose heart attacks. When the heart muscle is damaged, as in a myocardial infarction, troponins leak out of cells and into the bloodstream. Increased troponin levels indicate myocardial infarction or injury in a person with chest pain or pressure. Some MIs are silent, manifesting few if any symptoms. If infarction is ruled out in a person with continuing or recurrent chest pain, that is unstable angina, an increased troponin level indicates the person has had heart muscle ischemia and is at increased risk for a future serious cardiac event. Although troponins also exist in other muscles, those in the heart are unique and are measured separately in laboratory tests. Troponins in the heart are called cardiac troponins. There are two main types of cardiac troponins, T and I. T is also referred to as CTNT, while I is also referred to as CTNI. Both troponin T and troponin I are cardiac markers used to diagnose myocardial infarctions. Cardiac markers are substances whose blood levels increase after an MI. Others include creatine kinase, myoglobin and creatine kinase mus myo muscle branch. Like all cardiac mus markers, troponins have a unique diagnostic window. The timeline during which the marker rises, peaks and returns to normal. Troponin levels rise within 4 to 6 hours after the beginning of a chest pain or heart damage and stay elevated for at least one week. This long elevation allows detection of a myocardial infarction that occurred days earlier but prevents detection of a second infarction if it occurred only days after the first. Troponins I and T are considered superior cardiac markers for several reasons. The most significant is that cardiac troponins are the only markers specific for heart muscle. Other markers also increase following damage to other muscles. Troponin levels help predict the extent of heart muscle damage. Higher levels are associated with increased damage. Lower levels with less damage. Levels in a healthy person are negligible, so an increase is easily detected. The main difference between troponin I and T is that cardiac troponin I tests measure only cardiac troponin. Tests for cardiac troponin T may cross-react with troponin found in other muscles and give positive or increased results in the absence of heart damage. Two types of tests for troponin T and I are available. A traditional quantitative test that provides an actual measurement of troponin and a newer qualitative test that simply reports the result as positive or negative. The quantitative text test takes about 45 to 90 minutes and helps distinguish between myocardial infarction and unstable angina. The qualitative test takes about 15 minutes and is used in emergency rooms in which rapid patient care decisions can be made based on the presence or absence of troponins. People without heart damage have troponin levels less than 0.5 nanogram per milliliter. Levels greater than 2 nanogram per milliliter indicate a person has had a significant myocardial injury such as an infarction and is an increased risk for future serious heart events. Levels between 0.5 and 2 indicate a diagnosis of unstable angina or other heart disorders or chronic kidney failure. Coronary artery disease is the commonest of the cardiac diseases leading to myocardial infarction, angina, sudden death and many other complications. The complications after acute MI are maximum in the first few hours and decrease with passage of time. Therefore, early diagnosis is important. During initial crucial period, the diagnostic modalities are ECG, which even if normal does not rule out myocardial infarction. Other modalities include being creatine phosphokinase, myoglobin band, SGOT, LDH, myoglobin and the troponin T test. During the initial period of up to about 8 hours, ECG may be nearly normal in cases of acute MI at times. During this period, troponin T test is important 
since it usually becomes positive after 4 hours. At this time, sensitivity and specificity of proponent T tests are 100% and 86% respectively for detection, detection of MI. Proponent T test is a bedside qualitative test done by CART and this is manufactured by Boringer Manium in Germany consisting of a strip labeled by monoclonal antibodies for troponin T. That is the strip test kit available for the detection of troponin T. If a single line is only present as in here then the test is negative. For it to be positive both lines should manifest. If blood sample contains troponin T, it will react with the antibody and show a colored line on the strip. Blood is collected in an EDTA vial and poured onto the strip. The time of appearance of a second line on the strip is noted. The test is considered positive if two lines appeared. It is negative if only one line appears and invalid if no line appears. Positivity of CPKMB was higher only during the initial two hours after the onset of myocardial infarction. Thus, troponin T test is a slightly inferior to CPKMB in the diagnosis of acute myocardial infarction in the first two hours after onset of MI. This graph shows the various markers that shows the appearance of CPKMB in the initial two hours and this shows the appearance of troponin T after that. Positivity of troponin T test varies with the area of infarction. Maximum positive cases are seen with anterior infarction 84%, anteroseptal infarction 63%, inferior 58%, while the least positivity is observed with posterior or right ventricular infarcts. A high mortality was observed in cases in which troponin T test was positive within 5 minutes of onset of MI. CPKMB showed better results in the first 2 hours after which troponin T test was better than creatinine phosphokinase myoglobin branch or SGOT up to 12 hours and after 12 hours all the tests showed 100% positivity. The troponin T test was better than CPKMB during the initial crucial 6 hours since this is the time when the active therapeutic intervention can be planned. As the detectable levels of cardiac troponin T increases, so does the risk of death and heart failure, independent of other risk factors. Two studies using a highly sensitive assay as shown. Individuals with cardiac troponin T above 13 to 14 picogram per ml had nearly triple the risk of cardiovascular death and the risk of new onset congestive heart failure was increased by a factor of 2.5. Until recently, the lower detection limit for troponin T released by stressed cardiac myocytes was 10 picogram per ml with relatively poor quantitative accuracy near this extreme. Now a new test has been introduced with a lower limit of 3 picogram per ml prompting new studies to determine if low troponin T levels can be used as a biomarker of cardiovascular risk. The Abbott Architect Troponin I and Siemens Troponin I Ultra are both available in the US and Europe with the Roche high sensitive troponin T test also on the market in Europe. Studies show that the latest assays clearly have a higher diagnostic accuracy if used in this indication. That is patients presenting with chest pain to the emergency department and that these newer tests really provide a major advance in the critical care of these people. In a study with 6 years of follow up, nearly 10% of all participants with detectable troponin T died compared with about 2% of those with undetectable levels. Elevation of cardiac troponin T or troponin I is absolutely indicative of cardiac damage. But this can also occur as a result of causes other than MI that is myocarditis 
coronary artery spasm from cocaine, severe cardiac failure, cardiac trauma from surgery or road traffic accidents and pulmonary embolism which can cause cardiac damage with an accompanying levels of elevation of cardiac troponin. Failure to show a rise in cardiac troponin T or I does not exclude the diagnosis of ischemic heart disease. Both T and I may be elevated in patients with chronic renal failure and this indicates a higher long term risk of death. They can be distinguished from changes due to myocardial infarction by repeating the tests. Myocardial infarction causes a rise and fall in T and I but in renal failure the elevated levels are sustained. Herein we have had a detailed overview of this cardiac marker called troponin.